Once upon a time, in ancient times, the role of a biblical wife was highly valued and respected. Here are ten roles of a biblical wife that are still relevant today. Firstly, a biblical wife is a helpmate to her husband. She supports and encourages him and works alongside him to achieve their common goals. A biblical wife is a loving partner. She is kind, patient, and respectful towards her husband and fosters a deep emotional connection with him. A biblical wife is a homemaker. She creates a warm and welcoming home for her family and provides a nurturing environment where everyone feels loved and cared for. A biblical wife is a wise financial manager. She is responsible with money and works with her husband to make wise financial decisions. A biblical wife is a prayer warrior. She prays for her husband, her family, and her community and seeks God's guidance and wisdom in all areas of her life. A biblical wife is a faithful partner. She is committed to her husband for life and keeps her marriage vows with sincerity and devotion. A biblical wife is a godly role model for her children. She teaches them to love and honor God and leads by example in her own life. A biblical wife is a source of joy and happiness for her family. She brings laughter, fun, and positive energy into their lives and cherishes the time spent together. A biblical wife is a peacemaker. She seeks to resolve conflicts in a gentle and loving manner and works towards unity and harmony in her relationships. Finally, a biblical wife is a wise and loving mother. She nurtures and guides her children and teaches them to love and serve God with all their hearts. This is the end of this episode. Follow for more content. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. And I hope you like that first clip, man. I think, oh, uh, man, I'm going to have to link, leave the link one of these days because I'm not sure who content that is on TikTok, man. But I love I love the um, the artistry and the way they use the AI and, the, and you know, and the pictures and stuff, man. It's definitely dope. But uh, what he was speaking on is very, very rare nowadays, especially in the West. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. This is powerful. Did you know that one out of two marriages end in divorce? One out of every two marriages, 50% of yeah. people get divorced. Where? I don't know. In the United States of America. It does not exist anywhere else. It exists, but not the way it exists here. It's so easy. They have an argument. Yeah. Let's get divorced. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Work it out. They split. We That's did it. work out for 65 years. No regrets? No regret. No regret. No regret. If you agree that marriage is a holy covenant that shouldn't be broken, type amen in the comments and click follow or subscribe for more. See, and this is why I would never shame a man for expanding his options and getting his passport overseas to go find a wife because finding a wife is the most important decision as a man you will ever make in your life. Y'all got to understand that, man. And that stat alone should make men even be more particular in who they choose. So with that being said, was it really going to hurt to expand your options? I don't think so. But to each his own. Let's keep it moving. Well, you had a guy taking care of you, but you left. I'll be honest. I fucked up. He, what happened? <laughs> I kind of got bored, but he watching some hurting his feelings. Okay, so you cheated on him. I didn't say that. I said I got bored. So you that's typically what being bored means. Yeah. <laughs> you go with another guy. Um, I don't know. I plead the fifth. Yeah. What do you mean you another guy? I plead the fifth. I don't, I don't know. Okay. You went ahead and got bored and you lost him. Um, no, he's still here. He just like treat me like shit now. It all yeah. changed. Well, if you cheat on a guy, now you're only in the sex category and you lose a title. You fucked up. Entertain me. Don't let me get bored. Why are you letting a girl get you bored? You see, it's always the, on the guy, isn't it? It's always the, the, the responsibility is always on yes! the guy. It's like, entertain yeah. me. Yeah. Yes! I don't care what you get me. Entertain me. I don't give a fuck if it's so, a pet, a girl. So, just entertain man me. Or your Instagram. Marriageable man. My boyfriend already for him i'm going to delete my instagram soon actually because i see instagram oh. as just a dating app whoa Good based answer based okay and was that something that you arrived at 
on your own or was it yeah kind of- because i mean again if you're a certain level of attraction even for girls even if you're unattractive you're still gonna get guys in your dm it doesn't matter because we can get a guy easier than a guy can get a girl and so for me i just i want to make him feel like he's the only man and that comes with making him feel like he has a certain level of status so i'll gladly delete my instagram i don't think <laughs> i've ever heard a girl say that on this show we've interviewed <laughs> over 100 people that's why this one's the one who's gonna get married Marriageable man. You win. Yeah, I was a little bit shocked by that as well when I saw it, man. Especially coming from an American woman, you're rarely going to hear or see that. Now, I'm going to play this next clip for you guys. It's a bit long. It's about four minutes long. But it's very important that y'all see this, bro, because when you see the guilt and a regret in real time, it, get, it just goes to show you, bro, deep down, these women know that they shouldn't do this, but they do it anyway. Let's keep it moving. Put them in a certain light in a ca certain category where they're going to be categorized as sluts. They are fighting back against what men want, and they go ahead and demonize and say, that's immature. No, it's not immature because you guys decided to go into a career field that's unfortunately going to give you a negative so perception, about and men are going to assume field, that you're sluts. You guys might not be sluts. Who knows? No, Maybe you're not. Listen. But the career field that you're in, they're going to assume that you're a fucking slut. And, and you guys don't like me being honest with y'all. I'm telling you that men care about a woman's past because your ego invested in your website where you guys are showing your so somewhat nudity. And, just, and remember, it, remember, it's, you guys might make, might make a million on OnlyFans. You're trading a million for 45 to 70 years of loneliness. A million is a house. Well, they said they're okay. okay. It's not it's worth cool. it, dude. No, there's a lot of life to live. Know. Okay, disregarding him, but you, like the way that you speak about it, you speak of women like mainly as a whole. Sometimes you won't use an absolute, but you never like talk about men. Like you what say, you like oh, I'm trying the to think of the name before he started talking. talking. To men. <laughs> yeah, I know. Criticizing no, men, no, not like criticizing show. men, but like when you say. Oh, just said it earlier, and then he started talking. You know why he doesn't tell what arouses men? We already know we're not, not retards. So men. he, w nobody has to say tits and ass figure eight yeah. triggers our cocks. What, when what we your, tell, when we tell, John, what like was you gonna say? I don't even know. I don't even Holy know. When he starts talking. Her chromosomes like, expired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you okay? You good? Well, no, no, I'm not yeah, good. This she is gave up a three year fucking marriage to go to miami How, oh, yeah, what the fuck is so good about a fucking palm tree and some fucking immigrants what are you talking about <laughs> a three-year <laughs> marriage miami. for miami she said well he didn't yeah, let me go to miami you men no, you no, threw, no, she no, threw no, away no, a no, three-year no. marriage oh, no. sorry you're making her cry oh, oh shit oh, we just been through a lot and Let's i don't go. know what else to do all right, well, I guess I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna burn it. Hurts. The truth hurts. All right, well, look, if y'all want to leave, we're throwing our mics around. That's fine. Check this out. Let me go. Let me go. Me first. Me first, please. No, you said anything. You said anything. This one can tell through the fucking mic. Listen, I would have been quiet. I'm glad. I'm glad you cried. I'm the only dude on earth who told you the truth. The rest are gonna try and fuck you. This is the truth. I'm trying to say 40 fucking years of your life. You're going to be 40 years of consequences, bro. Like, it's yeah. women can't handle the truth. They really can't, bro. You say oh, that men okay. don't like sluts, but there are men, like, I've seen and with my friends. Like, there are so many men, maybe because it's they're young. They don't that like they, their commitment. They smash them. They won't but it's like them. they'll, like, beg for them and to date them, but they know that they're, like, a slut or a stripper then or this or that. They don't sustain then them. It's not a real man. But it's, it's like you a... don't talk about those men, and a lot of those men exist, especially in those younger generations. Those are the men that you don't want. Yeah, yes. Exactly. But the it's low like value. You never... you're, you're, talking, talking... you're literally targeting, like a sniper, low value. <laughs> we don't <laughs> want you girls to be low value. You're talking about low value. You're, what about those guys? Can they put their the thing, in me? If no. I lined up 100 dudes, most of them would prefer their girl not be a slut, but they don't have the ability... To demand that so they go ahead and get a girl that is a slut because they can't not. do better i found it so look man like if care. the sisters are gonna boggles me the fucking throwing mics around and shit man honestly yeah really? they're being emotional y'all yeah, could just leave bro y'all could just leave it's fine just go well your sister did so just go with her Fuck it it's this is getting annoying i actually think tears is more views you're staying no nah, bro she's it. leaving did they actually throw a mic? Don't know what I missed. Mic, yeah. She just I knocked didn't... the mic over and Damn. shit. I did not. Not you, your sister. I, 
Well, she wasn't even invited that much. <laughs> Why do I even invite her? Like, yeah, well, yeah, it is what it is. Actions have consequences. Just go. Grab your phone. Ice will help you get it. Ladies and gentlemen, Let me give you some this is the last time I'm babysitting. Where are these Women's father. Why am I doing the job? <laughs> what I'm, the I'm not the dad, bro. I'm not supposed to give the fucking truth bomb. Yeah. You try and save someone's soul. She felt the Holy Spirit come into her. We're giving her the family unit today. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to play those other clips leading up to that last one to kind of give y'all both sides of the spectrum as far as this situation goes. It's really sad to see that we, we got women out. You got very few women that are that'll give up their Instagram to be in a serious relationship because they can they see the logic and they see and they understand men but then you got a woman like her a three-year marriage you guys three years and she threw it all away to move to miami and do all the things now if i've never been to miami but what i do know is is that a lot of women complain about the dating market in Miami. And the reason why is because there's a lot of competition out there. And most of y'all are chasing one percenters or 10 percenters. So that's what you're going to get in Miami. You know what I mean? That's why I like even because it's, it's good looking women from where I'm from, Cincinnati, Ohio. They, they so quick to want to say they're going to move to Miami and do this and that. And then I'm thinking to myself, like, you do realize you're going to have to compete for the type of man that you want even more so down there because there's such a high concentration of women, of attractive women down there. You got women from all over the world that live in Miami. So I wouldn't call that the brightest idea as far as dating goes, but like I say all the time to each his own, but man, she couldn't hold it in, you guys. Deep down, she knows she met. She knows she effed up. She knows she effed up. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.